This is Mike from MPC Stuff, and uh, we're going to show you today how to install the right-hand PCB board uh, from MPC Stuff on the MPC 2500. Uh, these boards were discontinued by Akai, um, so now we've made them, but we improved the design by giving a smooth encoder like the 2000 XL. Um, we have one already installed here, and as you can see, the encoder is a lot smoother here than the regular two, uh, 2500 where it has the, the clicking. Um, so this is a smoother style encoder, and we're gonna show you how to install this onto your MPC. A lot of times you might have dead tack switches or LEDs or pots or something like that and you wanna replace this whole board. You can get this board at mpcstuff.com. Our first step to the install is uh, gonna be getting the casing off. Uh, the first step to that, we're gonna to go ahead and look at the front of the unit. Right here, we have two screws, one here and here. So first we're gonna remove those two, then we're gonna turn the unit around, And on the back side, you're gonna see one here, 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 and here. You're gonna see that they just hold this top panel on, not the ones that are on the inside here. So we're gonna take those five screws out there, the two on the front, and then we're gonna to go to the next step. All right, now that we have those out, we're gonna take our unit. Be careful, because it, uh, it's gonna be a little loose here. You might wanna go ahead and pull up your two Q-Link sliders along with the little spacers that are underneath them. So we let those go. Now we're gonna turn our unit around on the back side. We're gonna wanna have something like foam or a pillow down, just like I'm doing here, so you don't damage the pots on the top. Now that we have it here, we're gonna turn our unit to this side. And you're gonna see here, there's a screw here and a screw here. These are holding this front panel here on. You may have a screw here as well, depending if you don't have the uh, CD drive, you'll actually have a screw here holding the CD drive cover over. We don't have it, so we don't have one there. Now you're gonna go ahead and take these two screws out here. And now that we have those two out, this front panel is gonna pop out. We're gonna put this aside, and we're safe, and we're gonna go to the next step. The next step, if you have the CD drive, you're gonna to need to take it out by removing the screw here that's holding it in, or if there's not a screw holding in, that's fine too, like ours here. And then you're just gonna pull the CD drive forward. And it's gonna come out. Now that we have our CD drive out, you're gonna notice on this front side, you're gonna see a screw here and a screw here. There's also one that's hidden inside here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to have to get inside here, here, and here. There's gonna be three screws. One thing you're gonna notice when you get these screws out that they're gonna look slightly different. So right now I'm gonna pull these three out here. All right, now that we have those screws out, we're gonna turn our unit back around. And now you're gonna see um, something we forgot to mention at the beginning. We need to take the two screws out that are on each side panel. We're gonna go ahead and take those two out on that side panel, which already you've done on our unit, and it'll come forward and then off. That's how it comes out. And we're gonna turn the other one aside. Like I said, we've already taken our screws out of ours, but here it is here and here. Push forward and pull off. Now that we have this here, we're gonna be able to lift off our casing. Now that we've lifted our casing, you can see here, uh, the board that we're working on. You can see in this one, we've already replaced it before with the new style. You can see with the new style encoder, dust cover, and the 3000 style job wheel is on this. But for informative purposes, I'm gonna show you how to take it off. First things first, we're gonna take our ribbon cables off. This one, depending on what, how old your unit is, some of them will just pull out like this one did, and some will actually have a clip that you need to pull down the clip and then pull it out. So the newer style will have it just pull out like that and push in, but the older style will actually have a clip that pulls out. Then you're gonna go up here and we're gonna release these white cables here. Screwdriver works well. Try not to pull in the wires. You don't wanna pull out the harness. We're just using a little pick here. Take us out here.
All right, so now we have all these out. Now our next step is to get the screws out of each of them. All right, now that we have all our screws out, we'll be able to take our old board out. And on the back side, the easiest way to switch out the board will be to push each of these out to get the buttons out. That way you'll swap over the buttons. You'll see it's pretty easy to get the buttons out to swap them over to your new board. Then once you swap them over to the new board, we're gonna install the board back into the unit um, the same way that we took it out. Okay, now that we've swapped everything out, I'm gonna show you uh, in fast motion how it's gonna go all back together. Now you here is the most important yet easiest part of the install. Uh, if you don't have the JJOS, you need to have the JJOS to run the new smooth jog wheel on this. So you will need the JJ Free OS 3.13 or higher. If it's JJOS 3, it's gonna be 1.27 or higher. The JJOS 128 that comes with the uh, MPC 2500 XLCD kit from MPC stuff, that will work as well. If you have an older version, please contact us and we'll get you an update. Uh, the JJOS 128XL 1.52 or higher. Also, all this information is available on our site. If you have the most updated JJOS from the JJOS update site right now, then you'll be fine. Um, and how to load it uh, to change the jog wheel type, you'll be able to only go forward with the original OS if you don't have it updated. So you're gonna go to mode, pad 10, which is other. And you're gonna see in here now, Jog data wheel, and you can change it with left to right. That way you don't have to use the data wheel. We're gonna go to jog wheel um, two. And get out of here and go back to main. And we're gonna go back in here, make sure we're on jog wheel two, which we are. And now you see we can operate our smooth jog wheel. And that is it for installing this. Uh, if you have any questions, please email us at sales at mpcstuff.com. Again, the smooth jog wheel right-hand PCB boards for the MPC 2500, only available at mpcstuff.com and only available with the JJOS.